hopefully Marlon Mack will be able to come back. Um, and maybe that'll be why Carson Wentz does have success this year. It's because of JT. Yeah, but forget about the running back. They need to figure out wide receiver. They either got to bring back T.Y. or even add another after at re-adding T.I. There's some people There's some people saying on the internet, I saw this, that T.Y. Hilton isn't a good quarterback anymore or whatever, or a good wide receiver anymore. Um, I beg to differ. He's had three different quarterbacks in the last three seasons. Um, this particular year, they had him like double, triple coverage basically on every single play. He was just running distraction routes basically all season. By the way, did not complain at all. Was not coming out and complaining about that at all. Uh, started catching, uh, started getting the rock a lot later in the season and going. T.Y. Hilton's going to go somewhere and be very good. Uh, look for him to probably go to Tampa, to be honest Whoa. with you. Look for T.Y. to probably go to Tampa. I think Bruce Arians was the reason we drafted T.Y. Hilton. If the if I do recall, we were looking to draft somebody else. The story goes. We were looking to draft somebody. This is not, I was not in a war room. This is from somebody who allegedly was in draft war room. The story goes that right before our pick, somebody selected who we were going to lock in. Then as the clock was going, we were thinking about trader moving. And Bruce Arians said, uh, there's this. There's this wide receiver down in Florida. He is a guy. Draft him. That's all she wrote. Andrew Luck, T.Y. Hilton, become this tag team. Just like we got uh, Vic Ballard, that draft class as well, out of Mississippi State. He had a non-contact practice injury that kind of ended his career. He was unbelievable. Look for T.Y., though, to probably end up heading down there to Tampa because that whole staff knows him, that whole staff likes him, and that whole staff understands, like, hey, this dude – is still a dude if we have by the way with mike evans on the other side that helps him out a lot tremendously and i think ty would even tell you that and he's already been paid a couple times got a couple good chains mm-hmm. ty's got a couple real nice chains what was that <laughs> stat you just put up there <clears throat> ty Hilton is just 640 receiving yards away from 10,000 in his career if he can reach that mark with the colts it would become the first franchise in nfl history to have three different players with 10,000 receiving mm-hmm. yards here's the company he's in by the way uh marvin harrison reggie wayne ty hilton uh so, and he's had three different QBs the last three years. That's via Josh Wilson of Stampede Blue, I believe is what SB is. Mm. At Josh Wilson, SB.